Welcome Prime Outcast Alliance recruit to this knowledge space entry on Thermia Fractures. This is a limited time event that's held for a few days each month in Orbvalis located on the planet Venus. Every time this event shows up, I get a lot of feedback. It's too hard. I don't know what to do. It's not worth it. Once you watch this video, I hope you change your mind because it is worth it and it's pretty easy. After landing in Orbvalis, you need to head to the Temple of Prophet, located in the most northwestern part of the map. This is the area that can drop Sola Torids. I've dropped a few lock pen beacons to allow me to visualize what I named areas on the map. This is helpful so I never forget which area drops what Torids. You can use these lock pens on any open world map. What you are looking for is a giant spider. You might hear it before you see it. It stomps and is blasting a sermon over a bullhorn. You are looking for Thermia spiders, uh, much smaller robots with a blue coolant container on spider legs. They drop the Thermia canisters we are looking for. As I was flying over here, I spotted a Thermia fracture not far away. I'm picking up a canister with my frame, then another one with my operator. This will let me carry two at a time. That's also a handy trick during excavations. Someone jot that down. Once the event has started, this screen that shows you the event and the rewards that are available, it can be a little misleading. Um, there are different tiers. Like, uh, for instance, at five points, you get a Barry Dead's emblem. At 25 points, you get an Amalgam Shotgun Barrage, an Amalgam Serration. 50 points, you get Amalgam Barrel Diffusion, and Amalgam Organ Shatter. 75 points is an Operation Buried Debt Sigil. And at 100 points is a weapon called Opticore Vandal. You could get this weapon from this event. Uh, the alternative is wait until Baro Katir is selling it. The points don't mean what you think they mean. Um, each time you fill up a canister and you get your diluted thermia, that is considered seven points. So in order to get everything, tier one, uh, the five points, you need one fracture closed. The second tier, 25 points, you need to close four fractures. 50 points, you have to close a total of eight fractures. At 75 points, uh, you need 11 fractures, and to get the weapon, you have to close 15 fractures. So that's all you really have to do is you only have to do the 15 times. Um, the amalgam mods that are given are not tradable. You can't buy them anywhere. They don't drop anywhere else. That is the main reason to do this. They're dual stat mods. The first stat is very similar to the regular mod that it's replacing. It may be a 5 or 10% difference, but that second bonus is what you want. Uh, for instance, the Amalgam Serration, it, it has 10% less damage, but you get additional running speed. So it's like having a speed mod and the damage at the same time. So it is definitely worth it. The build that you would probably want to use most is Slash Damage and Viral Damage. This pod passes shields and armor pretty decently so that you can do true damage to enemies. Uh, it makes them die just a slight bit faster. There are several ways that you can approach to filling the canisters. If you're not comfortable with level 30 or 50 enemies, you can do the slow method. This will require one canister and four fractures. The enemies are more in the 15 to 20 level range and there isn't much hazard conditions from the fracture itself. If you're in a large party, you can seal the fracture by putting all four canisters in at once. Your timer is gonna be much longer than a single canister, 
but altogether it will be less time than closing four fractures. Be warned, I wouldn't recommend doing this solo unless you are well prepared. This fracture gives off nullifying waves that cancel all abilities for a few seconds. You can't even transfer to Void Rig or Operator during the spikes. The method I use that I'm showing here in this video is the fastest solo way. It requires three canisters and only two fractures. You start by putting in two canisters only. And I use Sevagoth's Gloom ability to stop regular enemies from getting close to the canister because they will try to destroy it. I'm free to leave my frame for the void rig or go into my operator. My operator has the Zenerec Focus School because the Harden Wellspring ability will allow my frame and my void rig to generate energy while standing in the well. Once your timer goes down, you will see the canister is half blue and half orange. We're 50% of the way done at this point. Using the operator and the frame method of carrying canisters, make your way to the next fracture. I didn't locate a second one before I started, so I had a pretty far ways to go before I found one. Uh, you want to put the empty canister in the half-filled canister and repeat the same fight as the first fracture. When the fracture is sealed, it will give you diluted thermia. You will need this when you're fighting the Exploder Orb to farm Hildren, the Step Ephemeras, uh, and the Lazuli and Chrismatoroids. These are materials that you need to rank up Vox Solaris. I use my Void Rig to do crowd control. The triangle ability, our Cubex, does nearly a million damage, more than enough to handle the waves that are coming in. I've tried several methods and found this is the easiest for me when I go solo. You are more than welcome to try any method that suits you. Um, there's no wrong or right way to do it. I hear often from my clan and my alliance that they don't feel that they are strong enough to compete with some of the veterans. Um, unfortunately, that's not true. The only difference between someone who's lower level and a veteran is mod capacity. The more mods that you can have, the higher ranked mods, the better it is. Um, the only thing different that the veterans did that the lower level members haven't done is put in enough formas into their builds. Uh, each time you put in a forma, it creates a polarity so that when you match that polarity with the mod, it decreases the mod cost by 50%. So if you have uh, a mod, mod cost of 16, match it with the same polarity, that only costs eight. That gives you eight more mod capacity that you can use in a different slot. If you do this, um, I have several builds that have 8 to 10 formas in it, and I have all the Prime Mods, all the Amalgam Mods, everything that costs a, a really high amount, and that's what gives me the extra damage, the little bit of edge. So that's all you need to do. Put more formas in your build, spend some more time with it, farm the harder to get mods, such as the Amalgams, that only come from this particular event and you will see an increase in your damage and your ability. Um, it's just the easiest way to do it. Don't worry about what your level is. I've seen level master rank eights in steel path killing more enemies than I did and I'm master, master rank legendary three. So it doesn't matter what level you are. Just spend the time and, and make yourself better. I'm just gonna let this run out in high speed. As you can tell, I'm doing plenty of damage. I'm not in any fear of dying or the canister getting destroyed. So it, it is extremely easy to do this and I would prefer if everybody try it, at least for your first 15 fractures, get all of your rewards from this event. And uh, yeah, you just make yourself a little bit better.
I'm gonna end this clip here in my garden. This is where all of my helmet um, frames go to die. And they leave me a little present. This is Tabby Cat Meow with the Prime Outcast Collective. Please like and subscribe and receive future notifications of videos similar to this on several subjects. And good morning.